Ever wondered why magnets stick to your refrigerator? Or how they manage to hold up those precious drawings and important notes? Welcome, dear friends, to the fascinating world of magnets and magnetism. Imagine a magnet. It's not just a piece of metal. It's like a little planet with its own North Pole and South Pole. But unlike our Earth, you can hold this planet in your hand. When you bring the North Pole of one magnet close to the South Pole of another, they pull towards each other. They want to be friends. But if you try to introduce two North Poles or two South Poles, they push each other away. They prefer their own space. Now, there are three main types of these little planets, or magnets as we know them. Temporary, permanent, and electromagnet. Temporary magnets are quite interesting. They only become magnetic when they're in a magnetic field. But once that field is gone, so is their magnetism. Permanent magnets, on the other hand, are always magnetic. They're made of materials like iron or nickel and have their own magnetic field. Did you know the very center of our Earth is made of iron and nickel? That's why our planet is one big magnet. The third type, electromagnets, are a bit different. They are created by running an electric current through a coil with a metal core. This energized core creates a magnetic field, but only as long as the electric current is on. Turn off the power and the magnet turns off too. You may have seen an electromagnet in action if you've ever seen an MRI machine at a hospital. Magnets are more than just refrigerator decorations. They are in telephones, doorbells, motors, and even compasses. They're small but mighty, and they make our world go round. So the next time you see a magnet, remember it's not just a piece of metal. It's a fascinating little planet with its own north and south poles. It can attract or repel, and it's a vital part of our everyday lives. Isn't that magnetic?